Hello guys, uh, this is Shaw, uh, and in this video I will show you how you can use your normal IR remote. Uh, these are the two normal IR remotes. This is the longer one and this is the shorter one. Uh, both of these remotes are the IR infrared remotes. They don't have any dongle that you need to put in into the side of the droid box or something like that. So they are just normal IR remotes. They work on a battery a pair of battery so you can see you need to make sure the batteries are inside and uh, it can function properly without any problems so make sure that you have a brand new pair of batteries inside the normal IR remote and then you can start using it uh, this is the shorter one that usually comes with uh, uh, this one is the shorter one it usually comes with the X7 and the X7 ultimate uh, boxes and you can see there is a cursor button uh, this one the mouse button it is there uh, on this normal and the shorter one uh, remote and on this normal IR remote the cursor button is right here you can see this is the cursor button this one so uh, using cursor button on your remote it's pretty fun uh, it's pretty useful I can say uh, and uh, a lot of users when they use these normal IR remotes they say okay it's not useful or we cannot properly navigate on the screen by using these normal IR remotes but if you use the cursor functionality the cursor button it activates the cursor button on the screen and then you can navigate to any part of the screen so I'm gonna show you how you can use this cursor button uh, for navigating any part of the screen uh, so here you can see this is my droid box screen and this is my IR remote if I press on the cursor button it will activate okay you can see right now there uh, the there's the normal selection mode but if I press on the cursor button which I'm pressing now Okay, you can see and after that I have to press the left and right arrow keys uh, to get the cursor moving. So this cursor button activates this one, it activates the cursor and then left and right arrow keys you can move the cursor with these left and right arrow keys up and down arrow keys. So in case I want to move it down, I can move it down and in case I want to you know, take it to the uh, apps and I can take it to the apps and once I take it to the apps if I want to go into apps or if I want to go on to any part of the screen you can do it it's a little slow in moving but it definitely works in case you find it hard to go somewhere on the box use this cursor button so I have clicked on the apps and it has taken me into apps so you can see pretty useful you know in, in navigating to the parts of the screen where you are not usually able to go with the normal selection uh, type of uh, moving uh, navigation so if I click the cursor button again it will deactivate this cursor functionality and then the normal selection which is this one the normal selection comes on so so this is how you can use the cursor functionality in case you want to navigate to some some portions or some parts of the screen which you are usually unable to go uh, and then definitely use this cursor button and you'll be able to navigate to any part of the screen uh, okay thanks guys uh, thanks for watching this video take care bye bye